Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you about logic gates and how to build them with redstone. Now I actually have four of my favourite logic gates already built in front of me here, which I'm going to be teaching you about today. So you may be looking at it right now and being like, that's way too confusing for me, what does this even do, I don't care. But after I explain it, it's actually really easy to get your head around and really easy to use in your own redstone builds. And it's also really important because a lot of bigger redstone builds implement these little things, these little logic gates, in a much larger scale. And to be able to build the bigger redstone projects, you need to understand the basics. So I'm going to go through it today, and hopefully after this video you will all know exactly what I'm talking about and how to build it for yourself. So to start off, we have the NOT gate. And this is basically just a signal reverser. If the input is off, the output will be on. If the signal, if the input is on, the output will be off. It's basically a NOT gate, so if this is on, the output is NOT on. And if this is NOT off, then this is on. It's just a NOT gate, so if the signal's on, the output is NOT, that's why it's called a NOT gate. Pretty simple, really effective and useful in tons of redstone circuits. Make sure to remember that little fly around, easy to build. Let's get on to the next one here, the AND gate. Now this is actually used in things like adventure maps, if you're making a co-op adventure map, or if you want to do like a complex um, login system, like a security code or something like that, you'll use a lot of these AND gates. And basically, if both the inputs are on, the output will be on. So if this AND this is on, the output will be on. See that? And if one of these is off, the output will be off as well. Because the only way to activate the output is for both inputs to be on. Do you get that guys? See, nothing happens to the door, nothing happens to the door. But if this and this is on, the door opens. And you can see how to build that. It's really simple, just the three blocks. The two redstone torches, which you need to hook, hook up your inputs into. See, this is my first input here, with the lever. And the next input needs to touch the block with the torches. Then a bit of redstone, another torch here for your output, bam, you're good to go. Now, I did actually attach these buttons here, another way of doing the input, just so I could show you guys some examples of how you can actually use this for your advantage. So here we go. Pretend this, there's like a massive wall here, and you're doing like a co-op adventure map. We're going to have to get rid of the wall for this example, because I'm only one person. But just pretend there was two of me, one on each side of this wall. And if I press one of the buttons, nothing happens, press this button, nothing happens. But if me and my co-op friend presses the button at the same time, bam, see the door opens? I can't actually click the button at the same time, but I can hit it just in time to open the door. And that's how you would do it. So this would be the door in the middle. If you both press the button on the top at the right time, or the same time, then you just run through the door, GG. It's like a really good, um, really good combination. If you want to do teamwork type objectives. Alright, there's actually a ton more uses for it, but that's just a really simple one I thought I'd show you guys. On to the next one, the OR gate. Now, this is really useful actually. Well, it's probably the least useful out of all four of these, but it is still useful. So, pay attention guys, OR gate. Can you guess it already? This, If this one or this one is on, the gate will open. And you can add as many as you want to this, of course. You can just keep putting redstone and more levers, it doesn't matter. If this one, see, the door opened, or this one is on, the door will open. But, you can also put this one, because it, it's just or, it doesn't matter what it is. This one, or this one, or this one. If any of these inputs are on, the output will also be on. And you can see how to build that. It's really simple, it's basically like the NOT gate, just added another reverse in there, for the different inputs here. And all the inputs are only attached to one thing. So this one, or this one, or this one, any of these, or all of them, basically, the output's on. Now, the reason why this isn't as useful is because it's basically the same as just having a straight line. If you flick a lever, the door open, you could get rid of this gate altogether, pretty much. But, it is good to know the concept for this next one. The XOR gate, which is actually an exclusive OR gate. An exclusive means, basically, how to explain this? 
Exclusive OR gate means that it has to be exclusively one input. We're just using a little circuit in the middle here to narrow it down. So if we flick one of these, this one, the door will open. Or if we flick this one, the door will open. But if we flick both of them, the door won't be open. You see the difference between the exclusive OR and the OR gate? With the OR gate, you can flick at any of them. With the exclusive OR gate, you can only flick one of them. So this one needs to be on, or this one needs to be on. And you can make this bigger and bigger just by copying the same circuit here. So you just pause it, pause the video if you want to recreate this for yourself. Couple blocks there. It's all three blocks wide for this many inputs, but of course you can make it more inputs. And yeah, this one, or this one. You get it guys? Hopefully you get it. And there's exclusive every type of gate. It just means it's um, restricted, like this one. The OR gate, the AND gate, and the NOT gate. Hope you guys understand that. And if you have any questions, make sure to just post it in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. I do go through all of my videos randomly, and I do check my inbox a lot. Actually, make sure to inbox me if this video is really old, guys. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to answer the comments if you get in here early. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to chuck this video a like to support my channel. And subscribe for more gameplays, videos of every single type. I do every type of videos. I do reviews, Redstone, Minecraft, everything. So, I'll see you guys later. And enjoy yourselves.